All right, this is fifth grade, module four, lesson 24. And in this lesson, we're going to be solving a bunch of word problems involving fractions and decimals. And generally, when we are doing word problems, that means we're going to assume that we're going to do some drawings. And in general, when I'm talking about drawings, I'm generally going to be talking about these tape diagrams. But um, let's that's just my general plan. Let's go in, look at the problems, and see if our drawings are going to look like this or if maybe they're going to look like something else. So on this problem, it says Jesse takes his dog and cat for their anim annual vet visit. Jesse's dog weighs 23 pounds. The vet tells him his cat's weight is 5 eighths as much as his dog's weight. So that means the cat is going to be less than the dog because the scaling factor is 5 eighths. It's less than 1. So the dog weighs more than the cat. How much does his cat weigh? So the idea would be we know that if we wanted to draw the picture dog and cat and we would know that the dog his tape diagram is going to be longer than the cat's um, tape diagram and we know that the dog weighs 23 pounds and that the cat right here is a big old question mark but we know that it is 5 eighths of 23. So what are we going to do? It means we're going to multiply 5 eighths times 23 and this is not a convenient problem at all. It would be really convenient if this was a 24 because both 24 and 8 would be uh, divisible by 8, but it's not, so we're just going to have to do the hard way and actually multiply. So we're going to get 5 eighths times, so that's 5 eighths, or 5 times 23 over 8, and then 5 times 23 is 115 eighths. So 115 eighths. So what does that mean? Well, that means we're going to have to divide. And so I'm going to go down here and I'm going to simplify that fraction um, because 115 eighths doesn't really tell me much. I mean, it's the right answer, but I'm going to use division so that we can get some sort of sense of what that fraction is equal to. So 11 divided by 8 is 8 with a remainder of 3. So then we bring down that 5 and 8 times 4 is 32. So our, ha our remainder is 3, so that would be 3 eighths. So the answer is 14 and 3 eighths. Now what is 14 and 3 eighths? That is the cat's weight right here, 5 eighths of 23. So 5 eighths of 23 means 5 eighths times 23. When we multiply, we get 115 eighths, which, when simplified, is 14 and 3 eighths pounds is the size of the cat. In this one, it says a community bike ride offers a short 5 and 7 tenths mile ride for children and families. The short ride is followed by a long ride 5 and 2 thirds times as long as the short ride for adults. If a woman bikes the short ride with her children and then the long ride with her friends, how many miles does she ride all together? So you have the short ride and you have the long ride. And the short ride is five and seven tenths of a mile. And then the long ride, I did not draw it to scale at all, but the long ride is five, whoa, let's see, how do I ever do that? There we go. Uh, so the long ride is five and two-thirds times five and seven-tenths. And so then we have to figure out that answer and then add them together because our question is, what's the total? Because this... Um, I guess it's mom, 
she rides with the children, and she rides with the adults, and she, so we want to know her total distance. So let's start by multiplying 5 and 2 thirds times 5 and 7 tenths. So let's see, 5 and 2 thirds times 5 and 7 tenths. Now notice, instead of doing 5 and 2 thirds times 5.7, I wrote it as a fraction, 5 and 7 tenths. So that means it's going to be 17 thirds times 57 tenths. And I can see that both 57 and 3 can be uh, divided by 3. So 3 divided by 3 is 1. And 57 divided by 3 is 19. And then... 17 times 19 is 323, and 1 times 10 is 10, and so that equals, let's see, 32 and 3 tenths. So there's our answer, 32 and 3 tenths. Now, we're supposed to find the total. So we know that this answer right here is 32 and 3 tenths. So now we're going to add 5 and 7 tenths plus 32 and 3 tenths. I'm going to do it as a fraction. So 5 plus 32 is 37. And I can see that 7 tenths plus 3 tenths is equal to 1. So our final answer is 38. So that woman bicycles 38 miles. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of biking. And our last problem for this slide. In the fifth grade at Lenape, let's call it, or Lenape, let's call it Lenape uh, Elementary School, uh, there are four-fifths as many students who do not wear glasses as those who do wear glasses. If there are 60 students who wear glasses, how many students are in the fifth grade? So we have the students who wear glasses and do not wear. So I'm going to put DW for don't wear and the tricky thing is it says there are four-fifths as many students who do not wear glasses. So that tells us that the wearing glasses tape is longer than the do not wear glasses tape. And we're told that there are 60 students who wear glasses and this answer is four-fifths of 60. Then the question is, how many students are there all together? So there's a couple of steps. First, we're going to figure out how many students do not wear glasses, and then we can add them together to get the total. So let's start with that four-fifths of four -fifths of 60 means 4 fifths times 60, which means 4 times 60 divided by 5. And 4 times 60 is 240 over 5. And let's see, 240 divided by 5. So 240 divided by 5. is 48 because that wraps up our 40 and then we're done. So that's equal to 48. So the big question, how many students do not wear glasses? The answer is 48. All right, so we have 60 who wear glasses. We have 48 who do not wear glasses. And so the total is 60 plus 48. 
So 60 plus 48 equals 108 students total in the fifth grade. Now parents, teachers, I'm going through this fairly quickly. All these multiplication steps I'm kind of pretending as if uh, the student totally understands. So you may need to pause and rewind the video multiple times to make sure your students totally understand all of the steps of what's going on here. And that wraps up 5th grade module 4, lesson 24, solving word problems.